English but language. I have a question, however, on something my mind is stuck on. What is your take on about what is your take on abusive relationships? Why do they happen? How is one supposed to deal with them? How is one supposed to heal from them? So abusive relationships happen because it's all appearing out of nothing, or it's all it's not even appearing out of, but it's not happening because of a reason as in like God's decided to abuse some people or not other people. It's just happening. It's just being created. The mechanisms in the story, the way that life writes it in, is it always writes in every character to be seeking pleasure and avoiding pain. So the abusive relationship happens because the abuser is trying to get pleasure and avoid pain. And in that dynamic, um, he's not getting what he wants from, from the other character, from the other body-mind mechanism, or it's pleasurable for him to be abusive, um, or he there's a sense of loss or out of controlness. But it's all coming from these two dynamics of trying to avoid pain and get to pleasure. And the me goes ballistic in this game. It goes loopy. And every argument, every conversation is about these two me's trying to establish their position and the best way forward in order to get maximum amount of pleasure. But the game gets so loopy and screwed up because sometimes the pleasure is being abusive. Sometimes um, the me gets so outraged about not getting its pleasure, it goes into abuse. All these weird games and dynamics seem to play out in that pattern. But the reason it's happening is reasonless. There's no reason. I mean, why does the tree grow? We can describe the mechanism of the way the tree grows, but we don't know ultimately why things appear because they appear. And there will never ever be an answer to that. It's not that you'll go to someone more intelligent than Lisa and find the answer to that. It's what happens is the one that's looking to try and get the answer and understand and control what is falls away. And then there is what is and there's no longer a problem with this absolute mystery. So how is one supposed to deal with them and how is one supposed to heal from them? The one will never deal with it because that one, that me dynamics, playing in the game of trying to get pleasure and avoid pain, so it will never be able to deal with them. It will just always be in that movement of trying to get the most amount of pleasure and avoid pain, even if the most amount of pleasure is staying in the abusive relationship. That might be what the me sees as the best option is to stay in the abusive relationship. So it can't deal with it. And the me will then take it on and claim it and say, I am somebody that's abused, which is an absolute lie. They are someone that abused me, it's an absolute lie. And the dogs are a great way to, um, to talk about this. Let me go and take you to a doggy. Let's see if one will come to me. Okay, let's just go to her. I can hear movement. Ah, oh, here she comes! Here she comes! So, this is Khaleesi. It's obviously not Khaleesi, that's just a name that's been put onto this body mind mechanism. There's just life appearing here that's not bound in any way. And the, the story of this body, which is just a story, is that it was um, abandoned and abused and left on the side of the street with no one to look after it when, she, when it was a very small puppy. But Khaleesi doesn't have a sense of being that. Now, we can tell the story of it. She can't repeat the story of it. She has no sense that she's abused or that she was abandoned or not loved. Therefore, there is absolutely no suffering. She doesn't see herself as someone abused. The reason um, that you suffer it isn't because somebody abused you it's because you think you're abused and this energy of me goes in there i am somebody that was abused i am somebody that was hurt and there's a sense of that's the reality of it you were and you have an imagination of yourself as someone abused it's an absolute lie the dog
There's not even, even the dog saying the dog is a description too far. Even the name Khaleesi is. This is just life expressing itself spontaneously now, and all suffering comes from living in this time, um, space, dimension. It's not that these stories can't come out, my ex-boyfriend or beat me, but it's the sense of that being who you are. That isn't who you are. That isn't who you are. It's not who you are, Khaleesi. You're not an abused street dog. You're not abandoned. You're not not wanted. What agony to live in that story. I'm something that's not wanted. And in a way, that's what you, all humans feel like. They're always trying to get to a um, place of feeling wanted and loved and accepted. Because they feel abandoned from God. They feel get abandoned from life. Or abandoned from oneness. Which is a lie. It's just that me that gives the appearance of separation. So let's go on to your question. I have hard time forgiving my ex-husband. You will never forgive him. Forgiveness is a positive action. I forgive him. I was abused. He was abuser and I forgive him. There is no forgiveness. It's the falling away of the one that blames. It's the falling away of the one that thinks that he had any choice over his actions. Any choice. It just falls through if there's not that dynamic of me there. Somebody robs you and there's fear in the moment or there's um, hitting back in the moment and then it's gone. It wasn't their fault. They didn't do it and you're not someone they did it to. It's just two body-mind mechanisms reacting together. This is so hardcore. If the me could really comprehend what's being said here, it would run a mile. So you will never forgive him. You will never get to that place of I forgive him. That would just be an imaginary place of you thinking you've forgiven him. And you're not a thought. You're not someone that you imagine in the past and imagine now, yes, I am someone that forgives him. Who is this I? Who could possibly be this I that forgives him? What are you? If you think your choices and free wills, then there's a lot to imagine to be. Yes, it is. Lisa, thank you. I had forgotten my time 